This is an example of riverbank stabilisation. We've got a very active river channel where it's migrating and meandering. The banks are quite unstable. You can see here that the fence is right in the middle of the river and this is showing that we're losing this much field in quite a short space of time. The river is moving into this field at quite a fast rate. My name's Joanna Uglow and I work for the Farming and Wildlife Advisory Group South West and we're helping to deliver the Hills to Levels project. The idea with this project is that every field, every farm and every stream has a part to play in flooding and we're trying to reduce both localised and regional flooding within Somerset. We're using natural flood management features which are soft engineering and uh, land management to reduce flooding, slowing the flow and storing water. The theory with these is that they're rock rolls and they're just acting as a barrier between the river which is scouring the riverbank and it's just protecting the soil which is quite loose here. Not only are we losing part of the field at quite a steady rate, riverbank erosion also has effects on the river system further downstream. So with the riverbank erosion we're adding soil to the water course. Now this is going to cause problems downstream. This might block culverts causing localised flooding or it might wake, make its way all the way down to the Somerset levels where they're having to dredge all this soil out of the channels. Riverbank erosion like this also has an effect on water quality. When the soil is eroded it's also taking phosphate with it which is a nutrient from the soil and that's degrading water quality and it leads to algal blooms and issues with aquatic life within the stream.